Hello everybody, so welcome to the channel Gatewala. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all aspirants of ESE who have successfully cleared the prelims of ESC 2025. ESC 2025 mains is knocking at the door. You already know that the date is on 10th of August when you would be facing the exam that is ESC 2025 mains. So in today's session, we would be focusing on the most scoring topics in civil engineering, obviously for civil engineering and what should be the revision strategy in around 12 or 13 days that are left for the exam. How you should revise at the end moment to score as much marks as possible. So let us start the video. Let us start. So first of all, you already know that there would be two papers, paper 1, paper 2 is the syllabus of paper 1. Paper 1 generally comprises of strength of material, structure analysis, design of steel structure, design of concrete structure, part CPM and construction management etc. And, and building materials also obviously that is the most important topic. Paper 2 generally comprises of fluid mechanics, environmental engineering, and geotechnical engineering, then hydraulics. Uh, then irrigation engineering that is water resource engineering and lastly the transportation engineering. These are the major topics that would be covered in paper 1 and paper 2 means your exam would be taken in two stages. First would be a 3 hour paper 1 and then 3 hour paper 2. Both would carry 300 marks each. This you already know. Okay. Now let us first focus on what are the important topics for paper 1. First of all building material. From building materials you would be generally getting theoretical questions only. So, you should have a detailed understanding of these topics. What are these topics? First of all, cement you should focus. You should thoroughly revise the properties and various types of testing of cement. Leach at layer test etc. Co compression test on cement. There are many tests and how to mine the standard consistency of cement etc. What is the use of the standard consistency etc. etc. Then concrete mix design, very important. From this chapter generally, numericals can also be asked, okay, how the aggregates are proportioned and what is the method of mix design, etc. So, bird eye view you should have on it. Then property and selection criteria of stone. Stone is very important. Many times in your exam, question have came on stones various testing of stone, various type of stones, etc. That, that is used as a construction material. Timber is again very important. And lastly, bricks. You should focus on it. Concrete is very, very important. You should understand all the properties, defects, etc. And various testing that is done on concrete. So, these are the major portion on building material that you should focus for paper 1. Then solid mechanics that is strength of material one and the same thing, both subjects are same. So from the first chapter you should focus on elastic constant, stress, strain stresses, strains, plane strain etc. Directly questions are, basic questions are asked from these parts that is stress and strain. Okay. Then Mohar circle you should have a clear understanding, Mohar circle for stress as well as strain analysis. Then principal stresses and strain you should understand. Bending moment and shear force diagram is again very important. Directly many times question are asked. And lastly, deflection of beams. This is the most important part of solid mechanics that you should cover thoroughly. Important topics. From other topics also questions can will come. These are the important topics for ESC 2025 that I am covering. Structure analysis, you should have a clear understanding of slope deflection method and the moment distribution method. Directly questions are asked. In question, it would be written. You have to analyze the structure using the slope deflection method. That in that, in that case, you have to analyze it with the slope deflection method only. You can't use moment distribution method there. Okay. Then analysis of trusses and frames very important. Large question, 20-20 marks questions are asked from this topic. Influence line diagram again very important part. You should focus. And lastly, the matrix methods. That is the stiffness matrix and the flexibility matrix. You should know how to make that matrix. Design of steel structure, you should mostly focus on bolted and welded connection. Eccentric connections also you will cover there. 
then tension member compression member and beams rolled beams basically because from gantry girder and from plate girder generally very large very lengthy questions are asked you won't be able to attempt it and lastly plastic analysis very scoring don't leave it then design of co concrete nowadays in design of concrete other than beams design of slabs also come two way slab is also being asked so please remember then design of foundation shallow foundation you should know design of retaining wall tanks and staircases all are important please practice question on ev every aspect design of concrete structure will carry a lot of weightage in your exam around 100 to 150 marks question will come out from these topics only so you should have a thorough understanding of the design of all these elements okay then analysis of pre stress concrete and loss in pre stress member very important various losses you should know cpm in cpm you should be uh, you should know about construction planning and various equipments that are used from this part theoretical as well as numerical questions are asked pert and cpm techniques very important and lastly construction economy that is net work method etc will come in pert and cpm techniques only crashing and etc okay then fluid mechanics open channel flow and hydraulic machine in fluid mechanics you should focus on hydrostatic pressure bernoulli's equation pressure measurement as well as buoyancy and lastly laminar turbulent flow as well as boundary layer theory dimension analysis is again very very important topic many times question are asked open channel flow you should focus on specific energy critical flow as well as hydraulic jump directly questions are asked from these topics hydraulic machines please focus on turbines as well as pumps okay basic basic questions are asked on hydraulic machine not very lengthy or very difficult questions so don't worry so just focus on pumps as well as the turbine pipe hydrology if you will ask me you should focus on rainfall rainfall measurement techniques as well as runoff estimation techniques flood routing is very important next hydrograph you how to use unit hydrograph etc and lastly well hydraulics from irrigation system please focus on canal design here you will see the nds as well as the lisis theory for canal design please have a thorough understanding of those theories and lastly the gravity dam directly many times question have come from these parts environmental engineering is overall it's very important you should focus on water supply engineering water quality standards treatment processes as well as, well as distribution network then waste water engineering sewage collection treatment as well as disposal and plumbing systems air and noise pollution not that important but questions are asked sources effect and control measures geotechnical engineering one of the most important part in paper 2 you should focus on the soil properties that is soil water relationship classification and testing consolidation very important and shear strength of soil next earth pressure theory retaining wall and slope stability and next one would be shallow and deep foundation mostly from these part only the questions are asked and lastly the soil stabilization techniques surveying focus on compass survey leveling the the odelite as well as tachymetric surveying surveying and next triangulation circular curve setting and lastly contouring these are the important topics for surveying these our whole team have researched this topics and then i am showing you these topics okay transportation engineering highway engineering focus on geometric design very important pavement design and lastly traffic engineering railway track Ra railway is very important this year because railway have come uh, i've again joined esc so from railways system you can expect good questions this year track design modernization as well as maintenance next is harbor and airport engineering directly questions are asked from layout planning and design so standard questions are asked from airport so and harbor so practice that from pyq now revision what should be your revision strategy end moment strategy see analyze you have already analyzed the syllabus you have already practiced the pyq that i can see so just note what are the static trend there and what is the dynamic trend there what is changing every year okay so that list you might have prepared then weekly revision phase 1 you have already completed 
फेज टू आई गेस यू हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड वी शुड फोकस ऑन फेज थ्री नाउ लास्ट फेज इट शुड बी अ मिक्स रिविजन एंड यू शुड बी गिविंग फुल लेंथ टेस्ट नाउ ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट एज मेनी टेस्ट एज पॉसिबल रिवाइज योर शॉर्ट नोट्स डेली एज वेल एज योर फॉर्मूला बुक डेली टेक टू फुल मॉक टेस्ट पर पेपर फॉर पेपर वन एज वेल एज पेपर टू एटलीस्ट टू टू फुल लेंथ टेस्ट यू शुड अटेम्प्ट ओके focus on improving presentation as well as time management now your focus should be while while attempting the mock test paper your focus should be on presentation how you can improve your presentation given the limited time okay weekly revision phase 4 that is the last phase in the last week what you should do revise all the important question that you have marked revise all the important concepts and formulas focus on your weak areas spotted in mocks and try to make them your strong points now okay practice at least 2 to 3 high quality answers per day in the last week this is the last week and then you would be all ready to score good marks and if you want to connect with me you can connect with me over my telegram handle that is my telegram channel it's by the name badal sir pw you can search there you can ask me your doubts there i would be very happy happy to answer it so i would like to wish all the best to all of you score good marks get connected with us and then we will be helping you prepare for your personality test as well all the best everybody bye bye take care